Set Aukertist Set Aukert, TKT, more commonly known as the Set Aukerts, is a census-designated place in Suffolk County, New York, on the north shore of Long Island. As of the 2010 United States Census, the CDP population was 15,477. The CDP encompasses the hamlets of Set Aukert and East Set Aukert. Founded in 1655, it is the first settlement and namesake, after anglicization, of the town of Brookhaven. Founded as an agricultural community in the mid-17th century, Setauket was a regional center of activity during the American Revolutionary War and is noted for the Culpeper Spy Ring and the Battle of Setauket. Many of Setauket's early structures are intact and now form the old Setauket Historic District. The Setaukits remain a mostly residential area, while bordering the more commercial enclaves of Port Jefferson and Stony Brook. The handful of businesses within the community largely cater to the over 24,500 students of Stony Brook University, which is adjacent to the CDP. History in 1655, a handful of land speculating colonists orchestrated the purchase of the Setauket area from the local natives. The region's first European settlers were English migrants from New England and further east on Long Island, who arrived shortly thereafter. This was the first settlement in what later became the town of Brookhaven, and both the hamlet and town use the 1655 date as their origin. During the 17th century, Setauket was synonymous with the colonial town of Brookhaven. During the 1660s the settlement was temporarily renamed to Ashford. This change was facilitated by Captain John Scott, an early settler of Setauket and an important leader in Long Island's early history who briefly served under the title of President of Long Island. A crafty land speculator, Scott claimed at one point to own a third of the island including the Setauket area. Despite the questionable nature of many of his claims, John Scott had enough power and support to rename Setauket for his ancestral homeland in England, Ashford, Kent, and to construct a stately home named Edgerton. John Woolman, a well-known preacher and journalist, noted having attended a Quaker meeting at Setauket in the spring of 1747. Revolutionary War era in the American Revolutionary War, the 1777 Battle of Setauket was fought on the village green. At the time, loyalists controlled Setauket and had fortified the Presbyterian Church for use as their stronghold. A patriot force led by General Samuel Holder and Parsons sailed across the Long Island Sound from Fairfield, Connecticut, purposing to attack the Loyalists. Three hours of gunfire ensued before Parsons withdrew and returned to Connecticut with minimal casualties for either side. During the gunfight, Parsons' men took cover behind Patriot's Rock, which remains near the village green with a commemorative plaque. Some of the bullets were embedded into the walls of the extant Caroline Church of Brookhaven. From 1778 to 1781, the Culper Spy Ring passed information about British troop movements gathered in New York City to George Washington. The Spy Ring consisted primarily of Setauket residents, including its leader Benjamin Tallmadge and key agent Abraham Wood Hull. The Culper Ring was highly successful and alerted Washington to such plots as a surprise attack on the newly allied French forces a scheme to counterfeit continental currency, and the secret defection of a general in the Continental Army. Washington later spent a night in Setauket during his 1790 tour of Long Island. During the British occupation, residents held religious services at the C. 1729 Caroline Church while British forces occupied the Setauket Presbyterian Church. The pulpit of the Presbyterian Church was destroyed and a number of gravestones from the surrounding cemetery were moved as part of the fortifications. Services resumed after the war until lightning hit the church in 1812. The Presbyterian Church was rebuilt in 1812. The village green continues to be owned by both churches. Modern history The 19th century brought industry to East Setauket. 
shipbuilding, which had begun as early as 1662, prospered as new shipyards populated the section of Setau Ket Harbour known as Dyer's Neck. These supplemented larger operations in neighboring Port Jefferson. Among the vessels built at Setau Ket were the Adorna in 1870 by David Brewster Bales, which was the largest square-rigged sailing ship built on Long Island outside of Brooklyn. A likeness of the Adorna has pride of place today above the main entrance of Setau Kitts High School. Better known as the famous, or infamous, schooner yacht Wanderer built at Setauket in 1857 by William J. Rowland at the direction of Captain Thomas B. Hawkins who would later command her. The Wanderer was sold to new owners after her first cruise and they tried to have the vessel secretly converted into a slaver at Port Jefferson in 1858 largely employing outsiders but suspicious residents alerted authorities and the vessel was captured by the US Harriet Lan off Port Jefferson. As it attempted a hasty departure, sadly, authorities in New York returned the vessel to its owners and she later completed what is considered the last successful American slaving voyage to Africa. She did so without Captain Hawkins who quit before the vessel was released. What is less well known is that the Wanderer later served in the Union Navy during the Civil War as the US Wanderer and captured two small blockade runners. From 1876 until 1904, East Seth Howkett also ran a rubber factor for the Long Island Rubber Company. By the early 20th century, nearly all industrial activity within the Setau Kits had ceased. Following the 1873 completion of railroad service from New York City to Port Jefferson, the Setau Kits began functioning as a summer resort town. Into the mid-20th century, relatively wealthy families started settling in the non-industrialized sections of the Setau Ket waterfront. In the post-war era, Setau Ket experienced a population boom, as the remaining agricultural lots were filled in with residential developments. The old Setau Ket historic district was established to counteract this change and a sizable proportion of Setau Ket's housing stock continues to be pre-war. Extant historical homes include the 1709 Thompson House and the 1830 Sherwood Jane Museum. The Frank Melville Memorial Park was established in 1937 and preserves much of the land around the Setau Ket Mill Pond. The Setau Kits were also influenced by the philanthropy of Ward Melville, owner of what would become CVS Corporation. Throughout the three-village area, Melville founded Stony Brook University, the campus of which abuts the Setau Kits on their western side. A minority of the university's students and faculty now live in the Setau Kits. Ward Melville also created a New England-style village district in neighboring Stony Brook being the closest commercial hub to set out its western areas and complementing the role of Port Jefferson to the east. East Setauket is home to Renaissance Technologies, one of America's most profitable hedge funds, which was founded by Stony Brook University mathematics professor James Harris Simons. In 2012, local politicians formed a planning committee for the section of New York State Route 25A bordering Stony Brook University, shared between Setau Ket and Stony Brook. Much of this corridor is currently underutilized, with a handful of businesses in small strip malls. The concept is to create a more walkable downtown area that may attract business from students and long-term residents alike. In May 2014, a 3.5-mile bicycle path known as the Greenway Trail opened connecting Setauket and Port Jefferson Station. Plans are being made to further expand the bicycle route to Wading River by converting defunct railroad tracks. The Greek Orthodox Monastery of the Holy Cross, headquarters of the Jerusalem Patriarchate in America, is also located in Setau Ket. Geography Layout Setau Ket has a New England-style village green with a mill pond and park, a quaint post office, the Caroline Church built in 1729, and the Setau Ket Presbyterian Church established in 1660, the M.S. 
Clark Library, also on the Village Green, is often considered one of the best on Long Island. This section is the historical center of the original settlement and forms the core of the old Setauket Historic District. The Mill Pond is additionally within the public Frank Melville Memorial Park. Almost all of the commercial establishments in Setauket are concentrated in three areas on Route 25A, Bellmead Road, and on New York State Route 347, Ness Concert Highway. Numerous medical and professional offices are located on Bellmead Road, along with other businesses that service them. A few additional shops and factories were established before modern zoning rules went into effect, a handful of which were located on Nald Hollow Road and Consawog Road. The remainder of Setauket is predominantly residential. Transportation The three major east-west roads are New York State Route 25A, NYS, Route 347 and Sheep Pasture Road. Setauket is accessible from the Long Island Expressway via Exit 62 and Nichols Road. Relationship to surrounding towns The Setauket refers to an area between Stony Brook and Port Jefferson Harbors sometimes including parts of Stony Brook University. As such, they comprise all of Setauket East, Setauket and often Old Field, Strong's Neck, and Pocket. South Setauket lies south of Route 347 and shares a zip code with Center Reach. All of these towns plus Stony Brook combine to form the Three Village Area, a region served by the Three Village Central School District. In popular culture, Setauket is the principal setting of the AMC television drama Turn, which premiered in 2014 and tells the story of the Culpa spy ring. Scenes were filmed in Richmond as a stand-in for Long Island. Jamie Bell plays Abraham Woodhull, Seth Numrich plays Benjamin Tall Madge, Daniel Henschel plays Caleb Brewster, and Heather Lind plays Anna Strong. Principal location of a prestigious legal fora. Demographics as of the census of 2000, there were 15,931 people, 5,521 households, and 4,289 families residing in the CDP. The population density was 1,882.3 per square mile. There were 5,632 housing units at an average density of 665.4 square mi. The racial makeup of the CDP was 77.76% white, 10.27% African American, 0.17% Native American, 8.80% Asian, 0.04% Pacific Islander, 0.61% from other races, and 1.35% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 3.43% of the population. There were 5,589 households out of which 39.2% had children under the age of 18 living with them. 68.6% .6 were married couples living together. 6.8% had a female householder with no husband present and 22.3% were non-families. 17.2% of all households were made up of individuals and 4.7% had someone living there alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.88 and the average family size was 3.26. In the CDP the population was spread out with 26.9% under the age of 18, 7.3% from 18 to 24, 29.3% from 25 to 44, 27.2% from 45 to 64, and 9.4% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 37 years. For every 100 females there were 96.7 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 94.5 males. The median income for a household in the CDP was $96,986, and the median income for a family was $105,472.
Males had a median income of $80,276 versus $46,281 for females. The per capita income for the CDP was $37,736. Housing prices in East Sethauk had ranged from $450,000 to upwards of $10 million. Education The Three Village Central School District serves the Sethauket community. Ward Melville High School, named after the local philanthropist who donated land for the school. It is renowned nationally for its in-star science research program, which produces a high number of Intel semi-finalists for the Intel Science Talent Search. The school also has a regional reputation for its lacrosse team. Above the main entrance the school features a likeness of the Adorna, the largest sailing vessel built in Setauket. Paul J. Jelinas Junior High School, named after Paul J. Jelinas, the first district superintendent. Murphy Junior High School, named after Robert C. Murphy, a local naturalist. William Sidney Mount Elementary School, named after a local 19th century artist known for his portrayals of everyday life. Setauket Elementary School, Nasaki Elementary School, Minnesaki Elementary School, Setauket Indian word for Little Neck, the name for what is now known as Strong's Neck, Arrowhead Elementary School, Christian Avenue School, original buildings dating back from earlier part of the century, used for kindergarten and first grade before closing in late 1970s demolished and redeveloped as residential homes in the 1990s. North Country School, former elementary school, closed in 1980s. Some of the district's administrative offices are located there as well as rented to BOCES. The Stony Brook School, MRS, Clark Library, Torah Tots, Shabbat Hebrew School, regional and local newspapers, Newsday, The Village Times Herald, Stony Brook Statesman, Stony Brook Press, Notable People, Bulent R.L., Composer, Bud Abbott, Comedian, Ray Anderson, Jazz Musician, Mick Foley, Professional Wrestler, Randy Jackson, Singer and Songwriter, Marco Beltrami, Film and Television Composer, John Fugel Sang, Actor and Writer, Kristen Gilbert, Serial Killer, Amy Goodman, Radio Journalist, Terence Hobbs, musician and sound engineer, Kevin James, comedian and actor, Frederick Rama, Lenz, religious leader and guru, Frank Loglisha, legendary desk jockey and philanthropist, Stephen Matz, LHP for the New York Mets, Ward Melville, businessman and local philanthropist, William Sidney Mount, painter, Robert Cushman Murphy, naturalist, Todd Sauerbrunn's NFL punter, James Harris Simons, cryptanalyst, mathematician, hedge fund founder and philanthropist, Lewis Simpson, Pulitzer Prize winning poet, Dee Snyder, singer and radio personality, Angel Villoria, merengue musician, Abraham Woodhull, America's first spy. Various musical groups have been associated with the set out kits, including Autopsy. Bayside, Blue Oyster Cult, Stray Cats, Suffocation, Twisted Sister, Zebra.